Hi everyone, I'm Peter Horner and in this video we're going to take a look at the built-in PDF reader on Chromebooks and show you one of its coolest tools which is the annotation tool. So let's get started first of all by making a PDF. So I've got Google Slides opened up here so let's go to the file menu and select download as a PDF document. Okay now let's go down to our little tote bag and find the PDF we just downloaded. Okay, so it's opened up with PDF in Chrome and we've got our fairly standard tools along the top here. So I can change the page number, I can zoom in and out, I can fit this page to the width or height of my screen, and I can even rotate pages. Over on the right hand side here, of course, we can download and print this PDF, but the tool we're interested in today is the annotation tool. So let's select this option here on the top right, and this loads the annotation toolbar. So here I have a pen tool, I've got a highlighter tool and an eraser. I'm going to try the pen tool first of all, so let's click here and I'm gonna go with blue to make it stand out a bit more. And now let's try drawing on the screen. I'm on a touchscreen Chromebook with a built-in stylus, which makes it really easy to draw on here. And it's really responsive using this. Okay, let's make this uh, a bit bigger and let's choose a different color. So if I click on this option here, I've got some different colors I can choose from. Uh, let's try writing uh, on the screen, let's try, I love Chromebooks. So also along the top here, we've got our highlighter tool. So let's try this one out. So let's select this, make it a bit bigger, and should we go with purple? And let's try highlighting some text. Cool, that works really nicely. And now let's use the eraser tool to undo some of this. So I can just click on the parts I want to remove. And let's select the pen tool again, and let's draw over this part, let's highlight. So call this one. And you also notice up here, I've also got arrows to undo uh, the changes I've just made or redo them. Another really nice feature I found is if you go up to the uh, menu up in the top right with three dots and select present, it now opens up our PDF in full presentation mode. And a really nice thing here is I can still annotate on screen and I can change pages just by using the keys or a clicker, and I can still annotate when I switch between pages. The only unfortunate thing is I no longer have the annotation toolbar, so I can't switch uh, colors or switch to the highlighter. So to do that, I'd need to hit escape, select the tool I want, and then go back to the present view to use the new tool. And once you've finished annotating the PDF to save these changes, all we need to do is select the download button, and select let's download with your changes and then just choose where you want to save that PDF. I've been using the annotation tool for a little while and I think it could be really useful. As you've seen here, we could annotate a presentation, but you can also use it to annotate student work to provide feedback. You can use it for demonstrating how to answer an exam paper, particularly uh, for maths or science, where you might need to write equations or draw diagrams, or even use it just for taking handwritten notes on an article you might be reading. If you've got any other ideas about how this might be useful to you, then please do share in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video useful, please do hit the subscribe button.